Bonjour les amis. I'm not quite sure if I pronounced that right, but it doesn't matter because we are not talking about French today. We are talking about software. Now, what software, may you ask? Well, it's a software that can potentially, probably, possibly, maybe, change your life. Now, you may ask again, what software? And I would tell you, it's a software that allows you to use your Android phone or tablet or iPhone or iPad as an external monitor for your PC. And if you don't have a second monitor already, it could very well improve your workflow so much that it may indeed change your life. Now, I'd like to add that this is primarily a tutorial for Windows 10 and Android, but you should be able to adapt it easily enough for Mac OS and an iPad or whatever. And I'll provide another software for you Linux people, but I'm assuming that you're, you're all nerds on Linux, so you should be able to set it up yourself. So also, I don't have enough time in this video. So yeah, you're gonna set it up yourself. But now, here's how you install it for Windows 10 and Android. Okay, so you've installed this app, or application, sorry, and, and app, app on your tablet, application on your PC. Okay, sorry. So now I'm gonna tell you how you would use it and why it's cool. So first, just to use it, you gotta open Splash Top Wired X Display on Agent on your PC. So there are a couple relevant things in here, okay? Sorry, I gotta set up recording on my tablet here. Boom. Okay, sorry about that. So, frame rate high, quality high. If your CPU isn't too great, or you're running over a, a slow speed cable, then you can change these to low or normal or whatever. Okay? So, this message right here is, uh, is important. Unable to connect to iPhone slash iPad. That's because I don't have iTunes installed. If you want to connect to an iPad, then you'll have to have iTunes installed. Okay? Easy. If you want, want to connect from a Mac to an iPad, you can just download it for Mac and it should just work just fine. So that's cool. Advanced settings, you don't really need to mess with these right now. So just, just don't think about those. All that remains now is plug the one end of your USB cable into your PC, preferably into a USB 3, and the other end of your cable into your tablet. So if I can get this in right, oh, it would be embarrassing if I couldn't, especially since it's USB-C. So just allow USB debugging, click OK. Now open up the Wired X Display app. I should have this, just the tablet screen displaying in the lower left corner of my PC. Sorry, it goes black for a second because it is in fact working as a display. How cool is that? I can prove it to you by going into Windows settings, going to the display section, and seeing that it is indeed showing up as a third monitor. Its resolution is 1280 by 800. It is in fact extended, the desktop is in fact extended to this display, as you should be able to see. So now, what is this even useful for? Well, if it's your second monitor, it is nearly infinitely useful. There are so many things you have your Discord, or if you're streaming your chat, or your OBS Studio, or whatever on it. If you're, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm messing stuff up. If you're programming, you can have, and you're, you know, you're doing web programming, you can have your browser on that. 
or your terminal, if you're doing something that requires a terminal to use, you can, again, you can use it for nearly anything. Think of stuff yourself. If it's your third monitor, there are more limited use cases. But again, if you're streaming, you have OBS Studio on one monitor, okay? You've got your game on your primary monitor. And then on your third monitor, you can have your chat, your Twitch chat or your YouTube chat or whatever you wanna use. So that is a use case. If you wanna have a performance monitor on your third tablet screen, that's another use case. Also actually having OBS on your, on your third one might be more useful, but whatever. Whatever configuration you use, there is a use for this third little monitor. Especially if it's a bigger monitor. If you're using an iPad, like an iPad Pro and it's big, that is useful or just a really big tablet of any sort. So, I mean, I don't think I need to explain to you why this is useful or even revolutionary. If you're running a laptop, this is a second display that you can use. It's, and you can take with you and it'll work just like a normal display, but smaller. And you don't have to pay any additional money. It's just your tablet that you already had. Like how cool is that, right? You can even use this for gaming if you feel like hurting yourself or if it's somehow better than the monitor you have in your actual like laptop or whatever. Okay, so there are a few more things to consider about this. So we're just going to cut to like a full thing of just you looking at my beautiful face and we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk business. Okay, so this wonderful software does in fact cost some money if you want to use it for any extended amount of time. If you're using it for 10 minutes, it'll give you like a little pop-up that says you can't use this anymore, and then it'll close the app, and you'll just cry and be sad because it's so awesome. But not to worry, if you pay them $7, you'll never get interrupted while using it again. I will, however, give you a little hint. They don't want me to tell you this. I don't know what'll happen to me. But if you just re, re, restart the app, it'll work just fine again and you won't have to pay them any money. So if you're fine with that, that little bit of interruption to your workflow, that'll work for you. I, I, think, I, think, I think they're out to get me. So uh, I don't know what's gonna happen to me, but I'm just gonna leave you with that. <laughs> I, um, uh, I think that they're coming in here. Um, um guys, guys, there's there's no need. Um, um that 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 machine gun, that machine gun, is just um a little bit threatening. Can we can we tone this down? Oh oh, we can't. We can't. Oh well, I'm, that's fine with me then. Hey. Things I do to help you cheap skates get your software for cheap. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, consider subscribing, and have a nice day. That last one was a command.